Hey y'all, welcome back to another new video. So today we are going to be talking about cognitive distortions, specifically related to food, body image, and weight. Um, I do want to just start off with a little bit of a content warning. Some of the things we talk about today might be difficult for people who are struggling with these sorts of things. Um, there will also be light mention of self-harming behaviors. So if that's something that you think would trigger you or just isn't okay for you to watch right now, I would definitely recommend clicking out of this video. Um, and with that, let's hop right in. So a cognitive distortion is an inaccurate or exaggerated thought process. Ones about food, weight, and body image are really, really common, but they can still be very distressing. And additionally, our thoughts and emotions are related to our behavior. So inaccurate thought processes can often lead to negative or unneeded behaviors, which is why they're so important to address and learn how to manage. And there are several cognitive distortions that are super common that many of us engage in often. And while we are gonna be focusing on food related ones, in this video, it can be applied to a wide range of topics, so this information could be applied to pretty much anything that you're struggling with. If any of these things that we talk about feel familiar, please recognize that you could be engaging in cognitive distortions, which could be leading to unhealthy or negative behavior patterns, and that learning to overcome them could lead to a healthier, happier life overall. First type of common cognitive distortion is shoulds. So this is telling yourself that you absolutely should or should not do something, like you absolutely should work out every day regardless of other obligations, you absolutely should or should not eat this certain type of food or you absolutely should weigh a certain amount. Another common type of cognitive distortion is all or nothing thinking. So this is like super black or white thinking. There's no in between. There's no gray area. So this could be like you have to adhere to a super strict diet and any food that goes off of it is wrong and your whole day is ruined if you leave your diet. Another common type of distortion is overgeneralizing. So this is where we believe that one negative thing totally defines our entire life. So a common one is if our weight isn't where we believe it should be, then we might feel that we are total failures or totally worthless in all aspects of life. So another common one is catastrophizing. So this is where we believe that there's no way out of a certain situation without it leading to total disaster. So this could be like, if I eat this certain food, my weight absolutely will rise, or if I don't weigh a certain low amount, nobody will like me, that sort of thing. Another common one is labeling. So this is where we attempt to put people or things in certain categories. So we may label ourselves as things we view as bad, so like fat, ugly, worthless, or we may label certain foods as totally bad or totally good all the time. Another common one is rejecting the positive. So this is where we only see the negative things in life and we do not see any of the good things. So we may only see about ourselves our failures or that we the things that we don't like about ourselves and completely ignore any successes we have or any possible good things about us. Another one is unfair comparisons or unfavorable comparisons. This is where we compare ourselves to other people but no matter what that person is always going to be seen as better to us. So we could be comparing our appearance, our weight. Um, another common thing is to compare the amount of food that we're eating to how much somebody else is eating but we've always are going to be the ones that are coming up short in comparison. Another common one is personalizing. So this is when we believe that everything is our fault or taking it even a step further. It could be when we believe that everything is our fault because we eat too much or weigh too much. So after you become aware that you've been engaging in these types of cognitive distortions, the next step to overcoming them is to begin to track them. So this could mean writing down every negative thought you have throughout the whole day, or you could just limit it to the thoughts you had right before you engaged in an unhealthy behavior. So basically sort of like what triggered you. So this could be self-restricting food, self-harming behaviors, binging, purging, anything like that, whatever unhealthy coping mechanisms you were utilizing, tracking what, what you were thinking and feeling right before it, what triggered it, what was sort of like the direct cause of that behavior. And after you've gotten the hang of sort of tracking them, this is when you can begin to manage them. So there's several different management techniques that we're going to go through. So the first is to externalize and diffuse the thought. So let's say you have the cognitive distortion of like I should not eat bagels because a bagel is going to make me lose weight. Um, and then you just go with it so you don't eat the bagel, maybe you even skip breakfast altogether. So to externalize that thought, you could sort of label it as something outside of yourself, like this is an eating disorder thought, or maybe even just, you know, this is a cognitive distortion. So then to diffuse it, you would rephrase it and you would say, my cognitive distortion is telling me not to eat a bagel or my eating disorder is telling me not to eat a bagel rather than just I shouldn't eat a bagel and once you've diffused and externalized the thought then you can make a more accurate choice to eat or not eat a bagel but it's not going to be based on what you that like strict I should or shouldn't do it thought so next you need to begin to challenge these thoughts let's stick with that same I shouldn't eat a bagel because it's going to cause me to gain weight what evidence is there that one bagel is going to cause me to gain weight in reality there's none no food, especially not just one single bagel, could make you gain weight right on the spot. 
So that's completely unfactual. So you need to replace it with a factual thought. And then you can start coming up with alternative beliefs. So maybe it could be something like, yeah, bagels aren't the most nutritious breakfast food I could eat, but I really like the way they taste and every once in a while it's not going to cause any harm. And then it's always good to consider what are the consequences of my cognitive distortions. It could be that you skip breakfast altogether. It could be that if you do eat the bagel and you really felt like you shouldn't, it could lead you to thinking you've, you know, messed up your diet the whole day so now you should purge or it or even binge so it could lead to a lot of unhealthy consequences if you don't challenge it and replace it with a more factual thought so really trying to replace your thought processes with flexible factual thoughts is a really really good way to challenge them and just know that skipping breakfast or purging breakfast or leading into a binge is never going to be more healthy for you than just plain old eating the bagel would have been for you. If you have a certain cognitive distortion that comes up a lot, so like a common thought, maybe one that you have every day multiple times a day, you can make a coping card or like a coping sheet and this is where you write on one side of it basically the common distortion and on the other side all those factual assessments. That way in the heat of the moment when you're really stressed or upset you don't have to worry about trying to do the work of like diffusing it you've already done it and you can just check back into it and read it over again to sort of help yourself calm down and i just want to say to end this video that while these things are really good pieces of advice that can help you it's never going to be replacing therapy so if you really feel like you're on the track to having an eating disorder you have a really unhealthy relationship with food or regardless of food you have a lot of cognitive distortions about anything in your life just know that therapy may be necessary and a therapist can really help you get to the root of why you're thinking these thoughts why you're feeling these things and that's going to be the true way to overcome them everything we've talked about today is more so just a coping or management skill it's not really going to fix it um, and with that being said i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching and until next time bye y'all